Yesterday there were so many things I was never told Now that I'm starting to learn I feel I'm growing old Cause yesterday's got nothing for me All pictures that I'll always see Time just faced the pages in my book of memories Prayers in my pocket and a hand in destiny I'll keep on moving along, no time to plan my feet Cause yesterday has got nothing for me All pictures that I'll always see Some things could be better If we all just let them be Yesterday got nothing for me. Yesterday mm, got nothing for me. Got nothing for me. Time to reminisce on novelties. Mm, yesterday got nothing for me. Yesterday. Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. So this week we're doing Yesterdays by Guns N' Roses. Let's zoom in and get straight into it. So let's start off with this intro. Now it starts off on D shape, except I don't have my second finger down, all right? And I'm gonna do this plucking. I'm going D, G, B, G, or four, three, two, three, if you don't know your string names. And then I'm gonna hit the top E and hammer on that second finger into the second fret. So we got this. And then at the end of that, we play another G, B, okay, or three, two. All together sounds like this. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna bring the pinky up into the fourth fret on the D string and then play this. Okay, so it's basically the same pick in. Four, three, two, three, hammer on. Then once you've done that, remove the pinky and play the open D. If I put those two together. Then we're gonna bring the second finger on the top E, we're gonna bring it off and over into the third fret on the A string, okay? Okay, and then what we're gonna do, we're gonna kinda do two tiny strums. We're gonna hit the A and the D, and then the, the G and the B. So that's the four, uh, the five and the four and then the three and the two. You don't have to be that accurate with it. And then what you're gonna do is hit the top E by putting the first finger down in the second fret. So we want that. Let me give you some context, okay? So. So 
So I hit the A string, there's a little bit of the D in there. And then I've got my first finger in the second fret on the top E. Well really, I think Slash goes, he just hits that top E by itself. And then that's going to be open. So let's go back to the beginning. And as you play the open E, top E, the second finger is going to move over a string to the bottom E on the third fret, okay? And the pinky is going to creep into the third fret on the top E. And you're going to do that. You're going to go six, two, three, or bottom E, B, G. So let's go back to the beginning. Okay. So six, two, three. Then you're not going to do anything else with the fingers apart from pluck one, two, three, two, or E, B, G, B. Let's do the whole thing slowly, okay? So the trick is here, and I don't always do it, when you pu pull that first finger off, you want that top E to be ringing out when you hit the G. And then pinky. Let's do it one more time together, right? So and then we're into the main verse. Nice easy chords, D. C add nine, G or G five, whichever you prefer. So a normal G, or you can take the first finger off and mute. Whatever your preference, okay? So D, C add nine, G. That repeats. I'll show you the rhythm in a second. And then D. That's kind of like Sweet Home Alabama. D. And then hangs on that G. Two, three, and. So what I'm doing for the rhythm there. Down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down. So let me do the first section for you slow. Down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. The next section just repeats. Down, down. And it's kind of like this pre-chorus or end of verse section because yesterday's got nothing for me so down 
down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And then it's time just face the pages in the book of memories. So that'll just be it. Down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. And you can hang there. So that's the verses, and they're all the same, okay? Now, by the way, if you don't know what a C add 9 is, when you play a D, what you want to do is just move the first finger over one string, bring this third finger, sorry, second finger, into the third fret on the A string, and you can throw the pinky on as well, if you like, on the top E. So it looks like a G, except the fingers are over one, and that's a C add 9. Okay. So the rest of the chords you should be familiar with. You could do a normal C. That's going to work as well. Okay. Now the chorus starts in A major. Sometimes you see me doing it like this. I'm just barring those three notes and not playing the top E. Otherwise, that would be wrong. And then I'm just adding this extra note, which is B to carry me to C at 9 or a C whatever you prefer so A B C so quick changes then G then you can add that little if you like that's just I'm taking my first finger off playing an open A and if I play it properly open A then bringing the first finger back down in the second fret, which is B. So let me do that slow and then I'll show you the rhythm. So we've got A, down, 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 up, up, down. Play that B note over to C. Down, C add nine. So that's going to be down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, up, G. Down, 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 up, up, down. And then down, down, up, up, down. And we do the whole thing slowly. Down, down. B, C, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. Okay, it's quite hard for me to give you the down ups and the do the strumming at the same time, but you kind of get the idea. It doesn't have to be perfect, okay? It's in, in interpretation, all right? again. So you got to kind of catch it quite quickly. So then during the solo, it changes to bar chords, the dreaded bar chords. You can just, if you can't do bar chords, you can just play power chords, okay? Or if you don't want to do the solo, you can just skip it out totally, all right? So it's B minor, and then G. B minor, and G. B minor again, up two frets, C sharp minor, open D, and open E. Double on that. Then you're back into the verse. Okay? So the rhythm down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. So 
So at the end, you can kind of build it into a crescendo. Okay. Now, let's learn the guitar solo. Now, I'm not going to put the tab on. I've had to change it because obviously on the acoustic guitar, I don't have the opportunities to kind of bend. The strings are too thick. They won't bend that far. So I've made uh, exceptions by sliding up the fretboard. So it's not exactly perfect, but um, I'll show you what I was doing. Okay, so take your third finger on the seventh fret of the G string, the third string, and we're going to slide that to 11. Then play 10. And then 9. So it's a little chromatic there. Then I'm going um, 9, pull off to 7. And nine, pull off to seven on the D string, and then play in seven, hammer on to nine on the D. Okay, then we go over to the G string, sorry, the B string, and I'm bending the tenth fret up using all three fingers till it sounds like 12 okay and then once it's bent up I'm playing it once and then and letting it back down okay to its original position and then I'm going to 7 also on the B string Then I'm going over to the G, so that's nine, seven, sorry, and I want to slide up from nine to eleven and then play seven again. So if I do that slow, now it's just roughly okay because. You know, I've played these, kind of been playing these a long time. I always play them slightly different. Um, and then we've got this kind of ascending. So and then I'm sliding from the 10th to the 12th fret on the B string. And then it goes again. So notice I'm putting vibrato on to try and sustain that note. So slide again to 14 and 15 15 15 again okay so it's a bit scruffy and then you want to bend that 15 to 17 so it sounds like that and play twice Bring it back down, 12 on the B, 13 on the G, 14 on the D. Okay. And now that's kind of a little blues thing, classic blues thing. So I'm doing the 13 on the G, 12 on the B, 12 on the top E. Yeah, and at the end I play another B, 12 on the B. So I go 13, 12, 12, 12 back on the B. And I hit the 15th on the B and bend it back up to 17. Okay. That's the thing, when you do these solo slow, I'm always like, I kind of got to play them through, you know? You'll probably find the same thing as well. 
So slowly. Bend back up to that 15 to 17. Hit the 12 quickly. And then back to the 15. So. Then 12 on the B. And that's 14 on the D, 12, and then that goes into like a major. So um, my second finger is playing 13 on the G. Then we finish it at the third fret on the 14th on the D string. And then finally, and that's the last bit. So that's just back to that 13 on the G, 12, 12 on the B and E, and then back to 12 on the B again, and then 15 on the B, okay. And then we got this. Okay, and that's just 17. Bend. Bend to 19, I guess, if you got a cutaway. And then I'm just hitting the 17th with my third finger on the top E. Or you can flatten the finger. I can't quite remember how I did it. So, something like that. Okay, or if you can't do the bend, you could have 19 on the B and 17 on the top E. I'm right at the top of the cutaway here. It's not the most comfortable way of playing. So yeah, that's pretty much all the parts. And obviously I've adapted it because it's the acoustic guitar. go there's the solo so there you have it guys hope you enjoyed this week's lesson please don't forget give me the thumbs up hit that subscribe button if you'd like to receive my weekly updates and also below you can find some links to spotify where i've done a playlist for virtually all the songs i've done lessons for you can find some t-shirts for sale and i've also put a link to my website if you'd like to support me here guys because i don't get paid for these covers Anything would be very much appreciated. So once again, I'll see you again the same time next week. Enjoy.